Right, we are going to set up our new GAP IIDG4 tool and we're going to try and simplify this. The instructions are all online on GAP, but it is a little confusing. Not because they're rubbish at writing instructions, but because it is a complex machine. Right, so what are you going to need to do this? And I've written my own sort of quick start guide, mainly for myself, but I will publish it to you and we'll go through it now. So you will need an IID tool. So this is the G4, but the process is the same for the third generation tool. So this is the, oh, there we go. Right now in the box, there's hidden at the bottom a cable. So you will need a USB cable. You will need your G4 tool. You will need a laptop. Um, you could do it online, but you need to go online and download a downloader, which is Mac or PC. So you do need a PC laptop or a desktop computer. You will then need a mobile device. So we've got a phone, which you are going to take with you in the car to use the diagnostic. So this is a tool for diagnosing, modifying, editing your CCFs. And the generation four, the G4 generation four tool can modify the CCFs on our new shiny defender. Q new shiny defender destiny. Shh. Okay, so, right, so we've got the USB. Now, if you're gonna do it on an iPad and a thing, so sometimes you might use your phone, sometimes you might set it up, set both of them up now. Let's get it all done and dusted. Right, so, let's go. So what do we need? Well, we've got everything we need. We've got the PC, we've got the thing. Right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to register an account on the Gap IID. Now, you may already have one if you had an older tool. If not, you'll need to click on this link here and go, to, oh, I can't click on links. Right, obviously if you're registering an account, you need to fill in all the details. If not, if you've already got one, you can go straight to this link here I've put in and it will take you straight through to the login screen where we can log in. The gap server's a little bit slow. Joop, joop, joop. Come on, baby. Okay, right, there we go. And that has logged me in. There we go, I can see log out my account. Yeah, there you go, and it's even got me. Look, there we go. So, right, so now we're logged in. We've got an account, and we're logged into our account. We need to set up and log into our account at the same time on our mobile devices, the devices we're going to use. So I've got these little QR codes, so you literally just open the... This one is the App Store. This one's Google Play. Right, get that there. Has it got it? Tap on that. Right, and this goes to this. Okay, and then we can install that one. Okay, stay up to date. Okay, not now. Now, I've already got mine installed, but it's got an update available, so we'll update. But you'll have the normal install, and you might have to click some buttons on your thing. So we'll get that one going, and we'll do the same thing on our phone now as well. Right, here we go, on there. Scan that. Gosh. Okay, so we can open that. So, okay, so we've got that. We're signed in, and, and oh, why hasn't my update gone? All oh, right, so we've got that, we've got that. So now we can carry on. With the next we've got it installed and signed in on our mobile devices now we can download the firmware updating tool okay so when you're logged in on your pc version you're looking for this product activation and management tab okay so if we go across here all right so we're looking for this product activation and management let's go in here okay and we need the updater download okay all right and then we need to click the iid tool updater Okay, and we need to set what we're on. So we're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, select the relevant one. It's gonna download it up here. You can see it downloading up here. Okay, it's got six seconds left. Okay, so let's run this. You can see it's two, because I've already downloaded it previously. Okay, and let's run the update. We're gonna launch. Here it goes, and this is gonna install. So this is the updater that's gonna look at our tool and update it and make it all work for us, okay? So let's just next all this along. I accept the terms of the conditions, okay? Okay, next, install. Okay, so that's now gonna install the updater for us. Okay, it's completed. Okay, so before we run the updater, we need to plug in the IID tool, so Get that plugged in there. And I think some lights will flash, but I don't think a great deal is going to happen. Okay. Right, now we've got to run the updater tool. So if we type in here, if we go IID, it's got the updater tool. Okay, so let's run this. And then we need to go find device, and it should find the device. Okay. 
Okay, so it's got all this. Okay, now before we do anything, we've got to do the program firmware because that's going to make it up to date. Okay, and it's important that you do this first of all. Okay, so program update. Uh, your ID tool is about to be updated. Okay, so here we go. So has it got any lights flashing on it? What's happening? Oh yeah, it's got, got some lights light. going. It's all going. So it's it's, 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 green. it's going, it's erasing memory, it's programming, it's programming the files. Okay, oh, it's going red, it's doing all the colors. Okay. Right, and it says firmware tool version was successful. It's now safe to disconnect the IID tool from the computer. Right, now we need to do this syncing thing. So we've now got that plugged in. Let's boot up the old iPad. So let's open, hopefully it will log me in automatically. Right, and let's search for tool, okay? So it hasn't asked me what mode, I don't want demo mode. So let's go search for tool, okay? Right, okay, so it says new tool, VIN, in bootloader, okay? So I guess we just tap on that. Okay, confirm connection, yes, okay? How am I doing for glare on the screen, Destiny? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Might get a reflection of me or Destiny. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is now doing the syncing part, and we'll do the same on the phone in a minute. So we'll, we'll be all up to date and all synced. Okay, files left to download, 13. So it's, it's doing its thing. It's, this is making the app have all it needs to run our tool. Right, well that's going on. I'm gonna get it up on my phone. Right, so let's go on the phone. How are we doing for reflection, Destiny? Yep. So let's search for a tool. Okay, available devices. Now it might not work because it's mm. communicating with the other one. So that's ready. We'll leave that for a minute. Let me just stop scanning again and we'll search for that in a minute. So that one's all ready, right? The files are ready to up to date. That's disconnect, press disconnect. You're about to disconnect. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. So that is my iPad, the tool, everything synced up. Let's see if we can search for the tool now. Okay, available devices. Here we go, tool found. And that one's in bootloader as well, okay? So let's click on that. Okay, confirm connection, yes. And this is gonna do the same thing. So both my mobile devices that we're gonna use with this are all being updated. That is us done. We're all synced, we're all good. We can unplug this now, and we should now better go over to the car. We'll take the iPad, it's got some charge in it now, and we should better see if this logs in. Now, you may have a final activation step or something to do, but let's go and have a look. So there we go. So this is all now ready to pop in here. Get it this way round. Oh, is the light gonna face us on this model? Oh, that's luck. On some time it doesn't. Right, so let's go now. Oh, strobe. Right, so whoosh. Right, so let's search for tool. Right, do we put the ignition on yeah. just to, just for just for fun? Search for tool. Okay. Come on, welcome power for UK. Okay, tool found, gathering the information. New tool. Scanning modules. 4% power left. Um, good point. If you are using your IID tool, I cannot stress enough. If you are going to flash any of the ECUs or do anything, make sure you've got a good charge in your battery and you've got a battery charger on it. If your battery goes flat halfway through modifying your car, you are in big trouble. You've been warned. Okay, so we have now got a message not activated on this vehicle. So the IID tool, let me just explain super quickly. Let's turn the bonging off. So the IID tool is really cool. Um, if you want to modify your vehicle, you have to pay a license for that vehicle. But it can read 
fault code read and clear faults on all your mates cars your land rover freelander twos your disco threes your disco four so it's a really cool tool to take out with you you can help a lot of people out you just can't modify their cars you can't lower their suspension you can't add time teeter control you can't do all those cool little tricks um, because iid want to be paid for those extra vehicles now if you get the pro tool you're a business or a garage you can actually modify all the cars um, but we need to talk to the guys at iid now actually it should be able to even though it said it was not registered right it should be able to although it's not registered it should still be able to to read this car okay but we won't be able to modify it okay so there we go so it can see all the all the things of the car it's going through it can see all these modules and stuff okay so let's have a look it's got a headlamp control module actually we need to try updating these um, so we are going to do some videos where we are going to try and read faults, clear faults, modify, change CCF files on our new Defender. So we are going to test um, the new IID tool. Um, so that's what we'll do. So look out for the videos and let us know if there's any modifications you would like us to try on either this uh, 2023 model year Defender 90 or the 2020 uh, uh, 110, the stick. Right, so actually this has given me this because it's given me tool not activated. So we will activate that. We will go through um, and to obtain your unlock code, tap on the bottom below and follow the instructions in am activation okay enter your login info if you don't have an account okay so we're going to enter that right let's see oh i tried it wrong let me try this time login okay and it's going activation i've read and agreed the terms okay what's it doing now activate i haven't got tool origin have i got to select where i got the tool from mm -hmm. um Gap shop. Gap shop. Yeah. Okay. Select. Okay. Now we can activate. Okay. Fetching the unlock code. Code validated. We're in. Backup failed. Ah, oh, probably because I've got the ignition off. Okay. Name the unit. Please give a name to the unit for future reference. Um, what should we call it? G4. Yeah. G. G4 tool. Okay, confirm. Okay, there we go. So we're all connected. We're all done. We're all ready to go and have some fun in future videos. Right, is that enough of this video, Destiny? Right, so that's the quick start guide for the IID tool. I hope that helps. And thanks again to the guys at Gap for all the support they give us in the Land Rover community.